Just because you're spiritual does not mean that you're disciplined. Let's talk about it. First and foremost, I wanna say this. If you don't wanna go to the club and drink alcohol to fit in, you don't have to do that. If you don't wanna go fuck on random girls with your homies to fit in, you don't have to do that, my nigga. If you don't want to go out and poison yourself and do low vibrational shit that you know you don't want to do, but you're doing this because you're gaslighting yourself into thinking that, oh, I'm living a balanced lifestyle and, oh, it's okay to have fun, you don't have to do this. Poisoning yourself does not equal a balanced lifestyle. Why do I have to occasionally eat bullshit food, occasionally drink alcohol, occasionally get pussy from random motherfuckers that I don't know so I can live a balanced life. And because these people lack discipline to actually stand on certain principles and abide by certain practices that they want to follow, they gaslight themselves into, oh, well, you know, I'm spiritual. I have free will to do whatever I want. Okay, because I have free will, should I treat people like shit? Because I have free will, should I fuck on random people I don't know, mix my energy with them, probably catch a fucking STD and be a hoe? Because I have free will, should I eat cancer-causing food that put that same food that put my aunties, my uncles, and my grandparents in the hospital? You can do whatever you want to do, but just know I don't give a fuck what you believe in. If you say you're going to do some shit, then do that shit. If you say you're going to stay committed to some shit, then stay committed to that shit. I don't give a fuck about none of that. If you do not have discipline, you cannot come around me or any nigga like me, period. If you say you finna do a 30-day social media detox and you got back on social media in the first week, nigga, you weak. If you say you gonna stay consistent in the gym and your ass ain't stay consistent in the gym, you stop going after two weeks, nigga, you weak. If you say, yo, I ain't eating no processed food this whole entire month and you started eating processed food on day two, day seven, I don't give a fuck if it was goddamn day 14, nigga, you weak, tighten the fuck up. Hey, hey! Peace of love to everyone watching this. I'm gonna give y'all some ways to stay disciplined and I'm gonna give y'all some ways to express your shadow without having to poison yourself. Because a lot of people believe that they have to poison themselves to express their shadow, which is utter bullshit. First of all, discipline is the most important thing in life. Okay, let's just keep it real, okay? The most talented people in the world are only talented because they had the discipline, okay, to actually practice the thing that they are now talented in, okay? You have to be disciplined if you want to be anything in life. We're not even talking about success. We're not even talking about, no, 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 no. Because I don't know what it is. I feel like with, with, with conscious individuals or with spiritual individuals, they think like because they're spiritual or conscious or they have all knowing knowledge that automatically they don't have to be disciplined, which is just bullshit. You have to be disciplined to follow a meditation routine. You have to be disciplined to follow a yoga routine. You have to be disciplined to be able to live a certain lifestyle and abide by certain practices that you want to follow. Nobody's making you follow it, but you want to follow it, okay? So discipline goes for every belief system, everything in life, period. I don't care what you believe in, you have to be disciplined. First way to be disciplined is, hold on, y'all check out this view for some motivation. Hey, hey, all right, let's get back to it. First way to be disciplined is stop scrolling on social media, okay? I'm gonna explain why you need to stop scrolling on social media. A lot of y'all are not lazy. A lot of y'all do not lack confidence. A lot of y'all struggle with scrolling on social media. The reason why scrolling on social media will kill your discipline is because it's one of the most comfortable things you can do. It's one of the most comfortable things you can do because you're literally getting free dopamine by doing nothing. You're getting free dopamine by just doing this. OK, there's not a lot of things that you can do in life where you can just sit down and do this and get free dopamine. Scrolling is the only thing that takes no work and you can get infinite amount of dopamine. When you scroll, you're putting yourself in a comfortable state. A lot of you people, when you scroll, I guarantee you, you're probably snouching. This is probably what you're doing right here. This is a lot of y'all. You probably watching this video like this right now. You like this, you're scrolling and you ain't doing shit. You just overriding on dopamine being a lazy motherfucker when you know you got shit to do. See what I'm saying? So so now, mind you, you already slouching. You already got comfortable. Now your mind is getting comfortable and you're overloading it with dopamine. This is why you're not disciplined. You're not even disciplined enough to put the damn phone down. You ain't going to be disciplined enough to accomplish your dreams, my nigga. <laughs> like, you think you're going to be disciplined enough to get some money? You think you're going to be disciplined enough to even hit a workout routine? No. Now, that's number one. Put that phone down. It's so many reasons why you shouldn't be trolling, but we just going to focus on that reason, okay? The second way to stay disciplined is, is to stop doing the, oh, I'm going to do this first method. Stop doing that bullshit. This is the, I'm going to do this first method. When you think about doing something, 
And then as soon as you thought about doing that specific thing, you said, oh, nah, I'm going to do this first. No, just do that shit that you just thought of just now. OK, I'm going to give you an example. If I thought about, OK, oh, yeah, I need to go take a shower. Guess what? I don't need to think, oh, yeah, but wait a minute. Before I go take a shower, you know, I should make some music first. Or, you know, before I take a shower, I should hit some push-ups real quick. Or before I take a shower, I should go watch the... No, 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 no. Just shut the fuck up and go take the shower. You have to understand that your mind likes to follow patterns. If you do something one time, it's going to be easier for you to do it a second time. And if you do it a second time, it's going to easier be easier for you to do it a third time, a fourth time, and a fifth time, and a sixth time. This is why some of you niggas that beat your meat, you did it one time when you was like 12, 13 years old, and now you a grown man and you still beating your meat. That's because your mind loves to follow patterns. You have to break the pattern, okay? So like I said, the second way to stay disciplined is when you think of doing something, don't think of nothing else. Just go ahead and do it. This video right now, right now it's 12.55 p.m. Yo, I could have told myself, oh yeah, before I make this video, hold on, let me let me hop in the studio real quick. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, hey, matter of fact, let me finish editing this one video that I got over here. Matter of fact, let me go outside, get a little walkout. No, 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 no. I said I'm going to do this video right now and get it out the way because I've already thought about doing it. Okay, do what you first think of. Okay, that's one of the best ways to stay disciplined. And the third way to stay disciplined is don't think about shit. Yeah, I know that's ironic. I just told you to do the first thing that you thought of. And now I'm telling you to don't think about shit at all. Yeah, don't think about shit at all. Okay, if you get a thought that naturally come to you telling you to do something, don't think on that thought. Okay, this is what a lot of you niggas do, right? You got to make your Shopify website or you got to go hop in the studio or you got to work on your business or you got to do something that's very important. And instead of you shutting the fuck up and just doing it, this is what you do. Damn. OK, yeah, I, I do got to make that Shopify website. OK, for sure. You know, damn, I could do it like this. You know what I'm saying? Damn. I remember old girl. She was, you know, maybe I should call old girl first. Damn, I don't even know, bro. Like maybe I should watch a YouTube video about it. You know what I'm saying? Damn, low key, I ain't gonna lie, I gotta clean up my crib. Like, you, you see what I'm saying? Like, yo, 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 yo. Shut the fuck up and open up the computer, go to Shopify, and just get started on the website, my nigga. Like, you doing too much thinking, you doing too much talk. You just shut the fuck up. Shut up. Shut up. Just do it. And the fourth way to stay disciplined, and this is probably one of the best ways is, is to put yourself in the position to go ahead and do the thing that you need to do. I'm going to give y'all two examples. Let's say you feeling lazy today and let's say, you know, you got to go to the gym, but man, you don't feel like getting dressed. You know what I'm saying? You don't even feel like driving to the gym. You don't feel like doing none of that. Yo, go ahead and have your gym shoes and your gym, whatever you got on gym attire, go ahead and have that by the front door. Walk to the front door. You can walk to the front door, butt naked. Don't care. Put it on at the front door. Put your shoes on. Go outside. Walk to your car. Hop in the car. Now, look, you're already in the car, bro. Like, it's going to take more effort for you to get out and go back in your house and pull out your phone and scroll on social media than it would for you to just turn the car on and drive at this point. Put yourself in the position to succeed. Let's say you're making a Shopify website. Yo, let's say you're sitting in your chair right now. Or let's say, matter of fact, no, let's back it up. Let's say you in your bedroom right now. You chilling in the bed. You're like, dang, bro, I do not feel like getting up right now. Ah, <sighs> boom, get up, Woo. Go sit in your chair and instantly open up your computer. Bro, you don't even, bro, I ain't even gonna lie. You don't even gotta go to the Shopify website. Just open up the computer. If you just open up the computer, automatically your brain is gonna be like, okay, bro, fuck it. I'm already in the computer chair. Yo, I'm already in front of the computer too. Man, fuck it. I'm about to just go ahead and start start on the Shopify. Uh, I'm about to go ahead and just start on the Shopify website. You see what I'm saying? So put yourself in the position to go ahead and do the thing that you know you need to go do. Now, because I fuck with y'all, I'm gonna give y'all a good way to manage our time. This is easy. This is extra, okay? I wasn't even gonna give y'all this. I'm gonna give y'all a good way to manage y'all time, okay? Now, this is specifically for my men, but women, y'all can follow this as well, too. Now, men, we have to understand this. Our testosterone is the highest when we first wake up in the morning, okay? So, let's say you wake up at 8 a.m. Let's say you wake up 10 a.m. It doesn't matter. When you first wake up in the morning, okay? When you first wake up, you open your eyes up. Your testosterone is the highest for the first four hours of the day, okay? Of when you wake up, okay? Then, after that, it goes down, for about another four hours. And then four hours after that, it rises up just a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And then after that, at the end of the day, it goes all the way down and now your testosterone is the lowest it's ever been all day, okay? This is important to know because as a man, you know, in the morning, your testosterone is gonna be the highest, meaning you're gonna have the most energy in the morning, meaning you need to get the most important shit done in the morning, okay? So I'm gonna tell y'all how I schedule my day. 
I don't use Google Calendar. I don't use no bullshit like that. I simply schedule my day in quarters, okay? So understand this. I have quarter one, I have quarter two, I have quarter three, and I have quarter four. Each quarter is four hours because I'm up for 16 hours a day, okay? Quarter one, which is the first four hours of the day, I get the most important shit done in that day. Right now, it's quarter one for me, okay? And so y'all can know I'm not bullshitting what this say right here. What that say right here? 30 minutes. I mean, 30 up, 30 minutes. So look, I'm still in quarter one right now. I got 30 minutes till quarter one ends, okay? In quarter one, I go hit me a little 30 minute workout. I work on my music. I work on any videos that I gotta work on. I work on any business that I gotta work on, period. Quarter one, I do the most important shit of the day because I know I have the most energy in the beginning of the day, okay? Now I only do this for four hours, okay? Quarter two, that's for another four hours. Now what I do for quarter two is I don't do nothing business related. I don't do nothing work related. Vaughn, why don't you do nothing business and work related? Because I'm a fucking human being, okay? Human beings are not meant to be working 12 hours a day. 16 hours a day, okay? Quarter two is my break time. So this is my time to meditate. This is my time to eat some food. This is some time to spend time with my girlfriend. If I had kids, I would spend time with my kids. This is time for me to go outside, ground myself, get some sunlight. There ain't no sun right now, but you get the point, okay? Because every man, every human period, but especially men, we need time to work and be serious and, okay, let's vibe. You know what I'm saying? We need to hit a meditation session because a lot of men will get too caught up in business we'll get too caught up in working so hard and we'll end up losing ourselves we'll get fucking egotistical and we'll be crazy as hell we don't need to have that happen so you need to have at least a period of time whether it's four hours six hours doesn't matter you need to have a period of time to where you can just be a kid bro and just vibe have fun spend time with your girlfriend spend time with your kids you know what i'm saying so quarter two that's when i do that at that's for four hours okay now quarter three that's for another four hours that's after quarter two that's after my vibe time Quarter three, I get back to work. Anything that I did not finish in quarter one, I'm finishing that shit in quarter three, okay? Now, quarter three, it might be me in the studio. It might be me editing some more videos. It might be both. It might be shit. I was in the studio the whole entire day. You see what I'm saying? I got song dropping for y'all. Hey, hey! Now, quarter four is the last four hours in the day. Now, personally, me, I like to freestyle quarter four. Yo, quarter four, if I feel like working more on my business, then hey, cool, I'm gonna work more on my business. That means that's 12 hours dedicated to my business a day. If if quarter four, I feel like, yo, baby, hey, I'm finna take you out on a date, you know what I'm saying? Cause I got a, I got a wife, yo, I'm finna take you out on a date, we finna spend some time together, then that's what I'm gonna do. If I feel like, yo, quarter four, yo, if I don't feel like doing shit, then I ain't gonna do shit. If I feel like just meditating for four hours straight in quarter four, then going to sleep and astral projecting, then that's just what I'm gonna do, you know what I'm saying? So that's personally how I set my schedule up. Quarter one, straight business. Quarter two, straight vibing, nature, meditation. Quarter three, we back to business. And quarter four, whatever I feel like, that's what I'm gonna do, simple as that. Now, some ways that you can express your shadow without having to poison yourself, because a lot of conscious people, they be just saying the dumbest shit on the internet. Like, oh yeah, man, like, you know, sometimes there's nothing wrong with just going out and eating some fast food or some McDonald's, man, so you can pull yourself down from the ethers. Oh, you know, man, there's it's no, nothing wrong with going to the club, finding a random girl, you know what I'm saying, the fuck, and then, you know what I'm saying, drinking some alcohol, being low vibe. What the fuck is you talking about? Like, why do I gotta, why do I gotta poison myself to, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, why do I gotta poison myself to pull myself down from the ethers and get out my light body? That's some fucking pseudoscience spirituality shit. That's bullshit. So look, here are some healthy ways to express your shadow because you have to express your shadow you can't just be 24 7 in your light okay but we can express our shadow in healthier ways a great way to express your shadow is get your soft ass a boxing gym membership and go whoop on somebody's ass or get your ass whooped that's a great way to whoop that's a great way a great way to express your shadow if you're watching this and you're a fighter congratulations you are expressing your shadow in a healthy way you getting some cardio sparring somebody and i don't think somebody getting that hurt you know what i'm saying another great way to express your shadow is go on long runs do a four mile run shit get on some david ganga shit and do an eight mile run i don't care who you are you could be mad you could be depressed yo if you go hit a four mile run but you ain't gonna be mad no more promise you you ain't even i'm telling you like y'all ever ran for so long and y'all been like stressed when you ran and then all of a sudden you finish your ran and you wasn't even stressed no more that's because you got all your darkness out in that moment another great way to express your shadow is hop on the mic my boy hey hey make a song my boy make some music you can journal bro you can go write a book and it could be the most fucking deranged sounding book. Like it could be about a serial killer or some shit. No cap. Like there's so many ways to express your shadow in a healthy way without actually having to kill your fucking liver, 
kill your brain cells, just kill your temple overall. Because one thing about me, I do not believe in killing my temple just to express my shadow. I'm never going to do that. But yeah, that's what I wanted to preach for today because a lot of people believe that bullshitting is living a balanced life. And in reality, bullshitting is not living a balanced life. You're just bullshitting because you have a lack of discipline. Like, let's just keep it real. I'm just not going to conform to society beliefs that, oh, bro, you're 21. Like, let's just go to the club and drink alcohol. Why? Like, what the fuck? Like, we, we, we got passports. Like, can't we just go out the country and travel? Like, what's wrong with going on an adventure? Like, why do I have to poison myself to have fun? Like, one thing about me is like, I will never conform ever. I will never conform to the mindset or the dumbass belief of I have to poison myself to have fun. I have to dumb myself down and hang around people that don't even fucking know themselves to have fun. Like, I don't believe that. I'm not aligning with that belief and that's not in my reality. I don't have to do none of that shit to have fun. And you don't have to do none of that shit to have fun. There's other ways out here to have fun without killing yourself, being a degenerate, and just overall bullshitting in life. Like, you don't gotta bullshit in life to have fun. But yeah, appreciate everybody that watched this video. I'll be streaming on Twitch, von 2 cut Official. Go check out my vlog channel on YouTube, Von Boogie. Go check out my Instagram at Von underscore Boogie. I got music videos dropping on this channel. Yeah, let's get it. Hey, ay!